Flyers TV is sponsored by the Bay Hotel. Ryan, first of all, congratulations on becoming a father. What's uh, what's that like? Thank you. Um, it's been it's been a, an incredible uh, change of pace the past week or so, and and he was born not this past Sunday, but the Sunday before, and and my life has obviously turned turned upside down. And, um, first child, so ecstatic about that. Just very very happy, thrilled to uh, to welcome him to the family and. It's it's been fun. It's been crazy. I find myself uh, staring at him sometimes and just you know losing the hours of the day. But it but it's been a blast. Absolutely. Um, and he, Scottish, obviously born born in Krakori. He is. We have our own very own Pfeiffer. So uh, yeah, he uh, he was born in town here, and and we're happy to have that on the uh, on the passport for the rest of his life. Good. Um, looking back to last weekend, the, the overtime loss to Nottingham Panthers, a point, a point gained, but um, you, you must have been pleased with the, the performance of the, the guys. Um, yeah, I think that we played well. I think that it was uh, it was a game that was within our reach. I think their their goalie played spectacular. Um, that's a that's a good hockey club over there, and and unfortunately we weren't able to get the two points. But but I thought that we. Uh, we put a product on the ice where it allowed us to uh, put ourselves in that position to gain the two points. Unfortunately, it didn't go our way at the end there, but uh, hockey's hockey, and, and unfortunately, we were only able to get one point. And what's your thoughts going to this weekend, two away matches in Belfast, then home in Kirkcaldy against Sheffield? You know, I think that uh, I'm excited for this, this last weekend going into playoffs. Um, I'm happy to be playing two really good hockey teams, um, the pace will be higher. Uh, the boys will be trying to win these games on, on either side, and I, I would much rather that than uh, meaningless games. You know, Sheffield has a chance to win the championship here on Sunday night, and, and that'll be something that they'll be battling for, we'll be battling for, and that's a, that's a great way, a great pace to, to end the regular season and, and transfer over into playoffs. We're, we've talked in our locker room for the past couple of weeks. We're playing playoff hockey. We want to play, be playing playoff hockey. And that's a great game to, uh, to finish the regular season at a high level, a high pace against a, a really good team. Uh, looking to Friday and Saturday, what are you expecting from, from Belfast Giants? They're a good, strong, hard-nosed team. Um, I expect nothing less than, than 100% given. They're going to finish all their hits. They're going to play hard. Um, they're going to be playing their playoff hockey, and we're going to have to have to match the the intensity level and, and work ethic. And I think that uh, we've beaten them this year, and, and I think that we'll have an ch- opp- opportunity to be able to do so again. What are Faith Flyers' chances of, of getting getting silverware at the end of the season? You know, that's always a that's always a goal. That's a goal of of every team. Um, Fortunately, in this league, there are three types of silverware that you can get that that you can bring home, and uh, right now we're still in the running to get one of them. So uh, we're wanting to go. We're wanting to to uh, to win this first set of uh, aggregate score games, and then get ourselves an opportunity to to finish it off in Nottingham. Right now, we need to focus on our first opponent. We don't know who that is quite yet, but when we find that out, then we'll be able to direct our uh, our attention there. In terms of the home match against Sheffield on on Sunday, how how much you as a, as a player would like to end the, the league season on a high? Oh, absolutely. You want to you want to end the season with confidence. You want to be feeling good about yourselves. You want to be feeling good about your offense, your defense, the transition game, uh, the work ethic. I think that we love playing here. We love playing. Um, in front of our fans, we love putting a good product on the ice for our fans. I think that I'm 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 very happy that that's how the schedule ends against a good team against our home, in our home barn, and uh, I, I I like those. Uh, that's a great way to finish the season. And as we get towards the end of the season, how would, how will you look back on your adventure in, in Scotland this season? <laughs> it's you know it's been it's been a trip. It's been really really fun. It's um, obviously not over, but check the big ones off the list we've done a lot of really fun things my wife and i and obviously the birth of our son and it's been it's been an amazing ride so far and uh, next week it's the the player of the year awards as well is there somebody in the dressing room that you think should deserve the players player of the year <laughs> players player of the year um i'm gonna leave that within the locker room i think that uh 
there are a lot of things that many guys in the locker room have uh, many guys in our locker room that have they've done amazing things throughout the year i don't want to single out a single guy right now i think that a lot of guys have done really special things and, and really special things f- specifically for our team and and you know work ethic whether it be scoring key goals blocking key shots making key saves there's been a lot a handful of guys that that have done re- something really special this year for us cheers Ryan. thank you thanks a lot